Today's category is highball drinks slash Collins drinks. Uh, this drink can fit into either category. It's commonly classified as a Collins drink, but you can also make this a highball. And the drink we're making today is a tequila sunset, a tequila sunset, which is a variation of the tequila sunrise. Now, if you haven't already, I strongly recommend you go check out my tequila sunrise video. I'll place links for it as I make this statement and also in the, in the description below and also at the end of this video so you can watch it for yourself. It's a great video that gives you the, the origin of the tequila sunrise, uh, where, where it was made, who made it, when it was made, that sort of thing. Uh, so if you want some good context around this drink, I strongly recommend you go check out that video, okay? So the tequila sunrise, as I said, is the parent of the tequila sunset, which we're making today, okay? So um, let's get to the ingredients. Uh, the ingredients we're gonna be using for the tequila sunset, we're gonna use uh, one ounce of tequila. I'm using Jose Cuero tequila. We're going to use OJ orange juice to fill. You can use four ounces or just fill your shaker with OJ. We're going to use half an ounce of uh, blackberry flavor, flavored uh, brandy. Uh, if you prefer brown creme de cacao, you can use that uh, as well. As the float, I'm gonna use uh, blackberry flavored brandy. We're going to garnish with these delicious uh, Amarena uh, cherries I have here. They're oozing with flavor, very rich uh, th and thick. Um, I love them personally. And we're also gonna use an orange wedge and a nice umbrella to garnish as well because this is a very tropical festive drink, okay? We're gonna be making our drink in a highball glass here. So uh, without further ado, let's make this drink. Okay, so with all highball drinks, uh, first you always start off by filling your glass with ice. Okay, you wanna fill the glass with some ice. All right, and remember, um, even though we're making this drink in our shaker, that uh, with juice drinks and cream drinks, it's always best practice to shake them uh, because uh, the dilution is gonna help uh, uh, synergize the ingredients, the heavy ingredients together. And with drinks that are all liquor, it's better to stir, okay? As a general practice. It's not, it's not a one size fits all rule. The exceptions to the rule, but just general best practices um, those are the two streams to take. For juice and cream, shake. For uh, only liquor drinks, stir, okay? All right, so this drink does have uh, juice. We're using OJ, so we're gonna give it a nice shake. Okay, so let's make this drink. So like I said, we're going to use uh, one ounce of tequila, okay? in our shaker. Let me put the shaker front and center so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. We're going to use uh, OJ. You can use four ounces or just fill. I've been doing this for a long time so I can kind of measure what four ounces is. Okay, so that's good for me. All right. We're going to give this a good shake. Okay, while I do that, I'll put this front and center so you can see me. All right, shake for about 10 to 20 seconds, All right? If you're shaking, if you're shaking um, cream drinks and that sort of thing, shake for longer. If you're using uh, something like uh, egg whites and that kind of thing you drink, you might wanna do a dry shake and I'll go through that in a separate video. We'll give it about, for this, 10 to 20 seconds to do the job. Okay, I feel good. That's a nice chill. Let's put it front and center so you can see. Okay. The shaker does have a strainer, so I'm not worried about the ingredients and the quality. So that's a nice, nice fill right there. Okay, now we're gonna take our blackberry flavored uh, brandy. We're going to put it front and center so you can see. We're gonna float this on top, about half an ounce. Okay, so check this out, all right? Just float on top like so. Beautiful, 
beautiful. Okay. And we are going to apply some nice garnishes. Okay, let's drag this back to me so I can have good control of the glass. All right, nice orange wedge. Always prepare your garnishes ahead of time. Okay. A nice, rich, rich cherry. I love this cherry. The flavor is so rich. I absolutely love it. Right? Mm, delicious. All right. We're going to put a nice, uh, actually put your straw first in there. And we finish off with a nice festive umbrella. See? That's such a beautiful drink. Look at this presentation. Beautiful. Front and center. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your tequila sunset. Let me do a little 360 for you so you can see the whole thing, okay? Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? Nice, chill holiday drink. Great for any festive occasion. Um, Nice drink to have on the holidays, chilling out with friends, you're having a cocktail party, please make this drink okay. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check out the other videos in my drink recipe catalog. I'm, make, I'm gonna be making both alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, so stay tuned. Please follow me, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm making this video at the start of the new year in 2021, so I wish you nothing but a happy, safe, peaceful uh, new year and I hope you stay tuned for the next drink in the series. Again, I'm Ben, this is Recipes Around the World, and I wish you well. Enjoy your drink. Cheers.